Hi. So I'd like to take you through the process of coloring in your your tubes. Now, if you need a refresher on how to make this design, uh, you can either check with me, of course, or you can check out the video on uh, how to design this tube um, this tube design. So what you're going to do is you're going to be picking out of the two out of the four different colors that you used for your scales uh, value scale out of the four you're going to pick two of them okay uh, two of them should be warm and two of them should be cool so you're going to pick one cool and one warm for this design to start so to start this you're going to select one of the tubes to begin and with the one tube every other stripe is going to be colored with the same pencil so right now i'm picking um my teal color my green blue color and i'm going to pick a stripe and this is where i'm going to be coloring my first stripe right here then when i color another stripe it's going i'm going to skip so this is going to be left white and i'm going to color this one this one and i'm just marking it for now just so i have it just so i know what i'm coloring and i'm coloring in on the side here because uh that's that's actually the darkest you know that's going to be the dark spot this side and this side so i wouldn't color in the middle because that's supposed to be pretty light and i might just put it too dark there so one of my stripes is going to be uh, this teal blue, then white, teal blue, then white, etc. The second one, the one next to it, the tube next to it, whether I'm going to pick this one or this one, it's going to be the warm color. In this case, it's going to be the mahogany color. So I'm just marking it. Right now, it's just identifying the spots that I'm going to eventually put the color on. Now, one thing I want you to notice is that when I picked a spot to color the mahogany, I actually have it next to a white spot. So it doesn't, I don't really have like a continuous white stripe going across. I'm making sure that it's, it's staggered a bit. Okay. So as you start to color, you're going to color them exactly the same way as you did here. The two sides are going to be really dark and the middle is going to be light and you're working left to right. So the edges, the sides here are going to be very, very light, might be very, very dark. And then as you move to the center, it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And the same kind of rules apply as when we did the, uh, the value scale worksheet want to keep those gradations, the transitions from dark to light, really, really smooth. It shouldn't, it shouldn't look too scribbly. So if you use the side of your pencil instead of the point, you're going to have nice, smooth coloring without a lot of, without a lot of really harsh strokes. And the way that I'm coloring going to have this satin look because I'm coloring left to right. I want to keep my pencil strokes going from side to side all the time. So again, I'm going to skip one of those stripes and I'm going to continue on coloring in the same fashion. Now these sections, these arc type sections, these arches, they are going to be different sizes. So the space that you're going to have that's going to be really light, it might differ. It might, you know, like this, this space right here might be different than this space here. And that's completely normal.
normal because the shapes are going to be different. This guy is going to be very, very flat. So the shape's gonna, the shape's different. So the way that I'm shading, the amount that I'm shading, is gonna be different as well. About the same rules apply. If you feel like you went too dark in the center, you can take an eraser and remove it. And you can always add more pencil. If you take away pencil, you're, you're kind of limited. You can't erase it completely, but you can lighten it up a great deal. So you're gonna continue this process throughout the whole tube, and then when you jump into the next tube, you're going to go with the next color. So one of these is a warm color, which is this mahogany color. The other one's the cool color, which is this green color. And the same, like I said, the same kind of rules apply as before. You want to keep those gradations and variations nice and smooth. You don't want to leave it too scribbly, you want to smooth it out. And you can move your paper, like if you, need, if you feel like you need to rotate your paper 90 degrees, you can feel more comfortable working, you know, with your strokes going up and down, turn your paper 90 degrees so you're still going in the same direction as you want. Some of these areas are going to be teeny tiny, so I'm going to jump over for a second to this tube right here. Let's get to whoops, plastic. So this tube right here, you see how it's like a triangle? So whenever you have these areas that are crazy tiny, you're gonna have to work with that transition a little quicker. You don't have all of that time to get from light to dark. Less time so that transitions Fast. Sometimes when you get to something like this shape, if I was to color that one, I might not even be able to do it. I might just look really That's completely fine. So it's some of the, like I said, some of these transitions are going to be really fast. So to review real quick the proper plan format. Turn it this way so you can see. Uh, the format's going to be where every other tube, okay, so it would be this one, and then this one over here. Every other tube is going to be uh, either the warm or the cool color. So you know, I'll have my blue, my blue green here, and then I'll have my blue green here, and I'll have it here, every other. And then the other opposite ones, the other ones are going to be the cool or warm color. Okay, so you're going to be flip flop. Warm color, cool color, warm color, cool color, warm color, cool color, up and down. Okay, so that's how that's going to go. So I will be, when I get this done, I'll have this in the classroom so you guys can see the finished product. But I figured by giving you guys this little tutorial, hopefully that'll help you guys. So have fun with this. So you can see this is how it's coming out. Okay. Like I said warm color, and cool color, warm color. This will eventually be cool color, skipping every other space. Okay. Enjoy.